Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video we will discuss about how to use column layout in our Qt QML application and also its basic property. Also we will discuss about what is the use of column layout and how it works. So let's start. So first of all import the Qt Quick layout. Okay, now let's create the column layout. Okay, now let's create the rectangle object to display in our uh, column layout. So let's set the first of all ID. So I set the my rect one. Also let's set the height and width property. So layout dot prefer width is uh, let's set the 50 and set the height as it is. So prefer height is also 50. Also you can set the color. So let's select the color from them. So let's select this one. Okay, now let's create the uh, same two or three more rectangles like this. So now let's change the object name here and also width and height. So let's set the uh, 75. Select the uh, color one of them. So I select this one. Now let's create uh, again one more and third and four. Okay, also you can set the uh, height and width and property here so let's set this this one and select this color now let's run the application and check it so you can see the all are the rectangles are uh, aligned in the uh, vertical manner also you can uh, uh, adjust the spacing between two rectangles so let's set the uh, spacing property here so let's set the uh, 10 and also you can display the uh, layout in center of the application so let's set the uh, center now let's run the application and check it so you can see we can also adjust the uh, individual rectangle alignment so let's see so before this start let's open here some text property here to identify you so my rect one name one okay also you can set the uh, rect one so change the uh, name object name this is the third one this is the second one also let's assign the uh, display the uh, text in center of our rectangle so use this property and just copy and paste with for the others okay now let's run the application and check it then after we will see how to align the uh, individual rectangle or individual child controls of your column layout so you can see the uh, rectangles text are also displayed in center of the uh, rectangle now also you can uh, adjust the uh, alignment of the uh, so here i said the uh, layout dot alignment like uh, let's display this uh, rectangle in the center of the application so you see layout dot alignment so display that uh, rectangle in center and check it So you can see this first rectangle is uh, displayed in the center also let's assign the, uh, this kind of property to other rectangles now let's assign the uh, align right and for that align left and check it So you can see the alignments are adjust by data so rectangle 2 is the align as a right so you can see the alignment is uh, set as a right as a rectangle 4 or you can also use this property like uh, this one so layout dot fill width okay so here you set your fill width as a true so it will automatically manage the uh, or fill the uh, width as a layout size so you can see 
the rectangle one width is automatically set same as it is the maximum size so maximum what is the maximum size of, of your layout so this is the maximum rectangle size so your maximum value of your rectangle uh, column layout is the 125 and the first one is also assigned same as the 125 okay or also you can set here uh, this property for this one or you can use for all these all the rectangles so you can see okay so if you want to fill all the child controls of your column layout you can you also use the column layout fill width or fill height also there okay now let's remove this line and check it again You can see so this is the uh, column layout in your our QTQML application or also you can see how Q column layout works it assign the all the child control in a vertical manner in a single column okay or also you can set the uh, spacing between the two con child controls like uh, uh, also adjust the uh, spacing okay so please drop your comment if you have any questions about column layout in QTQML application and please like this video and share this video with your friend and subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and thanks for watching my video thank you